It's Zombie Denise, and I uh, haven't done one of these types of videos in a while, and uh, what this is, is telling you all the cool, fun events that are going on in October. Um, there is a ton of stuff going on, seriously, and I don't want you to miss any of this, because um, I might not be able to go to everything. Uh, and I'm like, ah, oh, I wish I had more days off, really. I just wish I could have all of October off just so I could go to all of these really, really good, cool, you know, things, right? Because... Awesome! You know, um, it's the total real kickoff of fall. I know fall started, you know, in September here, but um, it really is. It's the fall season. So let me tell you about all these cool events, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to go to some of them. Um, some of them are Northern California, some of them are Southern California. Um, not really planning on doing any other events besides my, you know, home state of California, so whatever. Uh, the first event is uh, here in Elk Grove. That's Northern California. It's actually where I live. It's by Sacramento. Uh, the Elk Grove Great Pumpkin Festival. They have this every year. And um, I've lived off and on here for many, many, many years. And I have uh, tr always tried to go to this because it's fun. And uh, it's very kidsy. Uh, but it's, you know, just a great community event and stuff. So, um and people buy pumpkins, and there's kids, and face painting, and, you know, it's very, you know, carnival-y and stuff like that, and I'm totally into it. And it's, like, right down the street from my house, so uh, me and Monica are going to go to this. And, uh, you know, so if you're in the Elk Grove area, 6th and 7th, uh, we're going on the 7th because I don't have to go to work till 4, so it's definitely a little bit more uh, time for us to go run around and have fun. Uh, but there's like little craft table things and you know, people sell stuff and it's fun. But if you're in the Elk Grove area and you don't have anything to do Saturday and a Sunday, it's uh, coming up. Uh, definitely go to that because, uh, you know, it's great for the local community and thing. It's free admission. Uh, parking, you do have to pay for if you park in the, if you park in the park, but uh, you know, try to get kind of away and park on a street and then come by. Because um, anybody that lives in this area knows that the parking's just going to be stupid. I'm walking, so yeah, whatever. Uh, the next event is down in Southern California. The Rhythm Coffin, which we love those guys, are uh, they just announced that they are playing uh, Queen Mary's Dark Harbor. So they're playing on the Queen Mary, or like on the harbor. I'm not really sure. Uh, but Queen Mary's Dark Harbor on the 13th of October. And uh, they have a new song, and I had the privilege to hear a very, um, you know, raw uh, version of the song. It's called Brains, Brains, and it is amazing. Um, you definitely, it's definitely very, very catchy. I love the lyrics. They're really, really funny if you, you can really listen to them in everything. But the chorus is Brains, Brains, and it's just hilarious. And everybody... Uh, there was a few people that were sitting near me while I was listening to this, and, like, it was funny, because, like, a couple minutes later, they're like, brains, brains, and I'm like, yeah, you guys get it, so, um, definitely, definitely you guys want to hear this new song, because it's awesome, and, uh, thank you, Gruesome Garrig, for, uh, letting me listen to it, because it's just like, ooh, it's like, it's like Halloween come early, you know? Most people, it's like Christmas come early, it's me, Halloween come early, very exciting, so, um... If you're around on the 13th of October, definitely go check the Rhythm Coffin out. I will be there. Yay. Um, I'm actually going to all of the Rhythm Coffin events this uh, coming month. I'm very excited about that. Somehow it worked out that I have those days off. Yes. Um, the next event um, is up in Roseville. And it's the Calson the Manor Haunted House, uh, it's up in Roseville, it's most of the month, they've got different days, uh, looks pretty cool, they got a couple different houses, I want to say tickets are like 20 bucks, I'm not positive on that, I'm going to link everything that I'm talking about right here, I'll link it down in the description box so you guys can, uh, you know, check out the websites or the event pages or whatever they have, uh, if they have multiple things, I'll link multiple things, there's not going to be all kinds of linkage going on, so check it out, but, um, if you're up in the Roseville area, uh, Northern California, of course, uh, check that out. It looks kind of cool. I, uh, I had a card or something. Is this it? I think this is it. Yeah. Um, they have a little card. 
uh, somebody found it and at work, and they were like, "Hey, this has zombies on it. Zombies are cool." So, um, it uh, it says something about want to be a zombie. So, of course, they gave it to me, and they have a little Facebook thing. It's CalsonManor.com. They have a Facebook page, and it's October fifth and sixth, twelfth through the fourteenth. 18th through the 21st, the 25th through the 31st. So, um, I'll link all that stuff, but yay, cool. Everybody always gives me stuff. It's fantastic. So, uh, that's that. Um, there's another, um, haunted house thing. Um, they've been doing this for a couple of years. It's up in Rancho Cordova, which is also Northern California. I went to school up there, actually. Um, they are the Heartstoppers Haunted House. They have, like, four haunted houses. And I know that they uh, have, like, a deal that if you buy, like, the upgraded package, then you don't have to wait in line, and you can just whatever. Um, they're open most of the month, I think, on weekends, and then that, that following week on Halloween, the Halloween week. They're open the whole time. And uh, they actually found me on Twitter, I want to say. And they were like, hey, love your stuff. Come to see our Haunted Mountain. So uh, check them out. They look pretty cool. They've been, like I said, they've been doing this for a couple years now. So they've got their shit together. Yeah. So um, should be a lot of fun. I think I'm going to go see them around the end of the month. Um, or whenever I can. So end of the month when I mostly have like, like other days off and stuff. So. Maybe go see them, like, on the 28th or something. I'm not really sure. We'll see. We'll see if we can fit it in. Uh, hopefully trying to get Monica to go to some of these really cool events with us. Yes. Um, next event is the L.A. Horror Fest. It is on the 26th and 27th. Um, but if you go to, um, to the event, the L.A. Horror Fest, on the 26th, you get to see the Rhythm Coffin play. Do you see a theme here? Um, and uh, totally awesome. Uh, really, really looking forward to that. Um, I will link their information. They've got a ton. They, I swear, like the LA Horror Fest, like every day they're uh, adding more information and stuff on their Facebook and uh, on the website and everything else. But it, it looks like fun and they're screening. I want to say Cabin in the Woods and Drag Me to Hell. I could be wrong there. I think those are what they're screening. They're doing a little double feature. So definitely check that out um, if you're down in the LA area because uh, that should be a lot of fun. I had to finagle to get the day off, but I got it off. Yeah, so really excited. So I'll be down there for that. Um, the next day, the 27th, um, there's a lot of events going on the 27th. and They've got a Long Beach... Uh, zombie shuffle, walk shuffle, run 5k with zombies, yeah, so, you know, crazy, yeah, I was like, wow, that's neat, uh, a little shuffle run, a little 5k, 5k never hurt nobody, uh, with zombies, and so you can get your zombie on, and then go to the next event, which is the Long Beach Zombie Walk, yeah. Which, um, there are, this is like not even a, it's like zombie walk, art show, bands are playing, beer garden, there are so many cool things. And there's a ton of bands playing, ton of bands playing. I am most excited about seeing, of course, the Rhythm Coffin and, uh, the Radioactive Chicken Heads. Because, uh, I've never gotten to see them live and, uh, they just look like they're so much fun. Like, I see things with them all the time and I'm like, oh, these guys are cool, I want to meet these people, so... Radioactive chicken heads, if you see this, I want to meet you. Can we get pictures? Pictures. Yeah. So, um, but Rhythm Coffin's playing. Yay. Very excited. Uh, I will be there because, you know, it's a zombie walk and the Rhythm Coffin and the Radioactive Chicken Heads and, and beer. <laughs> the zombie's there. So, going to be that. And um, the after party will be uh, the Bat Cave presents, uh, what are they calling us? They're calling it the Slaughterhouse Dance of the Dead. And guess who's playing? You guessed it right, the Rhythm Coffin. Yes, they are all over the place this month. I am so excited. Um, and uh, that, I think, is 10 to 2. Yeah, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Uh, they've got, uh, you know, if you wear a costume, you can get in, like, for cheaper. If you RSVP on their Facebook yeah, it's awesome. See, there's all kinds of stuff. I will link all that. Yes, we like the Bat Cave, so check it out.
out uh, should be a lot of fun. So the 27th, all kinds of things are going on. So you definitely want to be down in the LA area for that one. And um, what's the next event? The next event is Halloween. 31st, Wednesday. We love Wednesdays. Um, you all want to be down at the Queen Mary again. Dark Harbor. The Rhythm Coffins playing. That's, you know, they played last year. Uh, I saw, like, video of the event. I obviously didn't go. But uh, the I saw video of the event, and it looked awesome. And uh, so it's like, really cool that they're doing two events at the, uh, you know, Queen Mary this year. So 13th and the 31st. Fantastic. Great dates. So uh, definitely be there. And uh, I want to see all your cool, ghoulish costumes. I am doing something very Donna inspired, which I'm very excited about, so I need to, uh, need to practice it a little bit. I'm getting my costume ready. Very excited. Yes. So, uh, check that out. Um, the next couple of events that I want to share with you are something people from my Facebook asked me to, you know, promote some stuff, and I went, hey, cool, I'll promote stuff. I'm all about promoting stuff, because I like to talk. Yeah. But, um, there's, a uh, an event here in Sacramento called Scare Away Hunger. Um, I guess they're doing a haunted house and you bring canned foods donations um, to, you know, help scare away hunger. Uh, I don't have dates on that stuff yet because there's was nothing up on the website when I checked it. Uh, but I will link their Facebook page. Uh, it's definitely for a good cause. You know, it's getting to be the holiday season and, you know... People are going hungry, and, uh, you know, if we can donate stuff, that's awesome, so let's donate some, you know, canned goods that we're not using and that kind of thing, you know, make sure it's good, yum yum, you know, chicken noodle soup or something, you know, awesome stuff. So, uh, definitely check that out if you're in the Sacramento area and, you know, donate or, you know, even, it doesn't matter, wherever you are, donate some food to the local food closet or something, you know, people are hungry, that's awesome, yes. Um, the next thing, um... I have a friend who works at, on the border, you know, the Mexican food place. I like to get margaritas and chips there and then shamble home. This one can drink a lot of margaritas. Yes, I love margaritas. But uh, they all in the whole month of October uh, is breast cancer awareness. And so they do a lot of... Um, you know, they sell shirts and things and, uh, you know, like the real men wear pink and, you know, my brother's got a ton of these t-shirts because I buy them for him every year. And, um, uh, you know, so a lot of the, the stuff goes to donations to, um, you know, breast cancer research and that kind of stuff. So definitely if you're near and on the border, check it out. You know, there's a lot of people with breast cancer nowadays and, uh, I can say it runs in my family. I'm dead now, so really have to worry about it, but it runs in the family, so, you know, hey, it, while you're having a margarita, buy something. Definitely. Check it out. It's cool. Just go have margaritas. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, the last uh, thing that I want to talk about, um, it's an art project that I, uh, I heard about from my friend Chris, who's awesome, awesome, uh, guy, we, we met at the DADA Degenerate Art Prom earlier this year. Very cool guy. Um, I love his artwork. And he was telling me about this other event. It's down in Huntington Beach. I'm doing this all off the top of my head, so... Uh, sorry. Um, it's Black Mass. I think that's a person. <laughs> sorry, Black Mass, if that's if you're a group or a person or something. Anyway... Uh, it's called The Possession, and it's uh, October 27th through December 1st in Huntington Beach. I'm hoping I'm getting this information right. And uh, it's it looks really cool. It's like a combination of, uh, like, performance and art and, um, like, kind of a audience participation ritualistic something. You know, I mean, I saw... I saw a Facebook, or not Facebook, a YouTube video on this, and it, like, took just, like, here's art, and then we kind of perverted it, and, uh, you know, it's not, like, crazy, you know, Satan, Satan, worship Satan, hail Satan, whatever, you know, it's not like that, but, uh, at least I don't think it's like that, it, it looked more of, like, the more, uh, you gotta have a real, like, sense of humor, sarcasm kind of thing like that, but, uh, there will be 
Uh, from what I read, there's going to be nudity in the show, or, like, you know, they'll have little electrical tape over the nipples or something like that. But, um, you know, uh, definitely, I guess, not for people that are shrewd or something, I don't know, uh, you know, have a problem with nudity or a problem, you know, holy religious or atheist or so, I don't know. It, yeah. If you're offended, don't go to this show, but, uh, it looks really cool and I hope I can, you know, see more or read more or something. I, I would like to go to this just cause it kind of looks different. I don't think I've ever been to anything like that before. So, um, definitely check it out. Uh, I will link what I have down in the description box and, you know, check it out. So, uh, I'm sorry I, I messed it up. Like, I wrote all this stuff down and then I don't know what I did with my notebook. I, like, I kind of scribbled some stuff on some piece of paper to be like, here's the dates for this, but I don't know. Uh, sorry. So, uh, but definitely check all this stuff out because it's so cool and I just, um, I just, I wish October was longer. <laughs> There's so many cool events and I'm just really, really, really excited to be a part of so many cool things and uh if you got any more things that are going on let me know about them and i will talk about them and we'll do another video um we're already at like the freaking 16 minute mark on this thing because i talk a lot and there was so many events but uh rhythm coffin brains brains uh huntington beach for this possession it's like opus diablo diab something i don't remember Sorry, uh, but Black Mass, I remember that, and The Possession, I remember that, and Dates, don't ask, but should be awesome, uh, Scare Away Hunger, lots of Rhythm Coffin things, Bat Cave, the, uh, you know, Great Pumpkin Festivals, this, uh, is shaping up to be one of the better Octobers that I have, you know, uh, you know, been a part of, and I'm, like, really, really excited, and yay! So excited. So definitely check that stuff out. Um, check out my Halloween movie reviews. Your Halloween themed movie reviews with uh, At the Opera Tonight. We are having, we're in week, we're going to be doing week four soon. We just did week three. Uh, did Night Before Christmas. Uh, so we watched that. Next movie's Trick or Treat. The old one with, uh, you know, Ozzy Osbourne and, you know, stuff. It's awesome. So, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. And, uh, other than that, I don't really know. I talk too much. That's all we know. Yeah! So, <laughs> check it all out, kids. And, uh, subscribe, like, share. Sharing is caring. And zombies like sharing. No, we don't. Not really at all. Bye, kids! Have a happy Halloween season. Zombie plus the knees. Zombie plus the knees. Zombie the knees.